Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? It is time to play with our balls. Play with our balls. There you go. So let's do that. Uh, grab your, I don't know why I'm talking so creepy. I was just thinking about something crazy. Um, so one thing to tell you before we start today, we have bar class on Thursday at 4.30. Here's the thing. As y'all know, I just went on vacation. What I didn't think about, because I've already been on two road trips, you guys know you came with me for one of them, is that I need to quarantine. And especially because I happen to like always have this great luck of going to the most COVID hot, hot zones. I mean, my mom was like, isn't all of America a hot zone? And I was like, yes, but because she's not here right now, she's in Spain. Um, so I have to quarantine and I'm not going to be able to teach that cycling class that I normally teach. So on Thursday, I'm going to take a poll. If you guys want bar class to be later in the day, not 430, but something like five, we could, we could do that instead. So I'll take a poll after this class. Let me know. Amy. Yeah, I was in the hot zone. That's hot. Yes. I just didn't even think about it. Like I have to can't like, it's so silly. Um, but it needs to happen. Like I'm could totally be a carrier right now. Probably am. Um, so with that said, grab your ball, grab your ball. Amy, you can, we're going to hold our ball today. We're going to have our feet on the ball. Um, I won't have a sit on the ball. Well, we will lay back on the ball. So Miss Amy, you could sit on a chair and just do the same movements on the chair. Be careful though with that lower back. Squeeze your butt cheeks, tuck your tailbone forward like bar class, posterior pelvic tilt. When we are squeezing the ball between our legs, you could use a rolled up blanket, a pillow, a towel. Great, you got a chair, sweet. And then um, when we're holding it in our hands for like light cardio-ish stuff, um, you can you could do it, you hold nothing and just not bother. Or again, a pillow, a blanket, something like that. So make it happen. Stability ball is awesome. Mine's a little bit, uh, I can't get the air to stay in it. I might need a new one. So if my form's a little off, just you do you. I'm here to help. But Melissa knows what's up. So with that said, let's roll. We're gonna start standing up in place, getting a little bit warmed up. Let me give myself some more screen. Thanks for joining my ladies. Oh shoot, one little bit more screen. I've got my computers stacked on top of each other right now. Okay, ready? Let's go. We're starting a few minutes late. So we'll go a few minutes over. It's to the knee, to the shoulder. Knee, shoulder. I've given you a playlist if you want it. One foot is turned slightly out. The other foot is turned straight forward. We're scooping the ball to the calf and then up to the opposite shoulder, warming up flexion and spinal rotation. And now I'll go to the opposite side. A small turn in the foot will catch you there. Good. Knee, opposite shoulder, knee, opposite shoulder. There we go. Knee and shoulder. Good. Almost there. Shoulder, 10 seconds. We have five seconds. We have three, two, one. Now bring the ball all the way to the ground and up, down, up. You can even bring it a little forward if you want, so you can get lower than those hips. Down, up, pull the belly in. Squeeze the ball gently on the way up and the way down. Good. We stay down in five seconds. Stay all the way down, twist side to side. Whether or not you have the ball, keep the hips straight, the pelvis in line. Good. Bum right in line with the knees, knees over the ankles, heels pressed down. 15 seconds. Heelbone tucked, lower abs in, 10 seconds. 
chin lifting five. Good. So either hold something or bring the ball down, reach it across one side and then the other, the hand goes behind the body. So Miss Amy, same thing, same motion. You'll just reach, scoop as if you're pressing the ball. Good. And over. One knee bends, the other leg straightens. Five seconds. And now it's just one side, out, in, out. You can bring your hand to your thigh of the bending leg. Lengthen the full body. And it's still just warming up here. There's a bit of a tricep work. Definitely that leg is working. The bending and straightening knee. 10 seconds. We have five. Good. And now, other side. Out, in. Out, in. Pressing the hand onto that ball. Good. Forward, back. Forward. Almost there. 15 seconds. Ooh. Exhale. We have 10. That's five. Whoa, sorry, Mr. Plant. Good. And one comes through the center. Push it forward in a deep, deep flex of the spine and up. My ball's a little bit small, so I'm going to let it go to my knees and stand all the way up. Forward, up. Forward, up. Bum far back, belly strong. Good. Forward, stand. Forward, stand. Almost ready. Get into our planking. Now, bum all the way down, hands up overhead, side to side here with hands high. Again, staying in our low squat position, working multi fit eye, iliocostals, and obliques. 15 seconds, ooh, 10. Oh yeah, side belly so strong. Good, two, one, stand up, bring the feet together. Ball past one hip, up the other. Repeat our squat, so it's like Utkatasana chair pose with a ball to the hip. Good, down, back and up, down, back and up. Over, up, 10 seconds. Okay, we'll stay in our chair squat soon. Here it is, stay in your chair squat, ball the chest, extend. Stay deep in that squat, work in the arms, shoulders, knees and ankles together. Good, chest extend, chest extend. Final thing will be high knees, ball pull down. In 10 seconds, final thing in the standing series, five. And now come up, ball pull down to the knee. If you can actually push the knee into the ball, you'll strengthen that lower belly. Good, 15 seconds. Point the toe on the way up, 10, five, <laughs> kind of a fun sound, and one. Okay, so Amy, you could drape over the chair for this. Everyone else, um, and ladies, we will be doing some knees today. So you can have a pad, extra pad, not many though. Okay, lay on down, legs can be knees off the ground, feet flexed. Bring the hands to the chest or the forehead, depending on the size of the ball. Lift up and down, thoracic, whoa, spinal extension. So elbows wide, neck relaxed, just resting on those hands. Pubic bone, Presses into the ball, toes curved toward the ground, 
10 seconds. Good. One. Okay. First plank walk out. I don't have a ton of room here. So walk out, 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 and just hold your plank, getting a feel for it. So <laughs> I hate this. Hands underneath the shoulders. So you could also go like me. See how I reverse walked out? I'm moving my feet. I'll do it again. There it is. All right, plank hold. All 10 fingers spread wide, elbows soft, looking below the nose, squeezing the belly, squeezing the glutes, maybe even getting those inner thighs engaged. Back of the head is lifted, fingers gently pressed into the ground. Back is flat and chest is wide. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. However you want, you can walk back. You can bring a foot forward. My squishy ball is not great for this. And we come back into our draped over the ball position. Take a quick break. Interlace the hands behind the back. Raise the arms up. Isn't this a good one? Good. Amy, you could do this on the chair. And now, or you could do it on your belly on the ground, Amy. Arms out to the side. We come all the way down. Leave one hand down, lift up the opposite and up so one hand is on the ground hips stay into the ball chest rotates open look towards the thumb lift up knees soft lift and lift so we're working both sides of the lower back belly pulls up and in Shoulders retract, they squeeze together. Good, 15 seconds. 10. Five. Two, one, done. Okay, so now come on back again. Roll forward one more time onto the ball. So I'm gonna roll forward, and then when I get out of the screen, I bend my knees, push back, point right into pike. All 10 fingers spread wide, bum lifts, thighs move towards the chest, toes on the ball, send them back. Up, down, up. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, Four, three, two, oh, I'm shaking. One, and then walk on back, bend the knees gently. Ugh. Okay, okay, next bird dog on the ball. Lay down, bend the knees, or if you'd like, you can straighten your legs now. Drape over so that your uh, torso is parallel to the ground, whatever height that is. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right. Extra credit, the hand reaches back. So there's a bit more balance happening. Right, left, left, right. Eventually we'll do leg lifts on the ball, but this is gonna warm that stuff up. Good, left, right, right, left. Pushing the pelvis softly into the ball will help keep the lower back long. This is all about length, this one. Making yourself longer and leaner. Six. Two. Final set. Final one. And now bend the knees, roll on back. Next we do push-ups on the ball. So, and then we'll be done with our wrist stuff. Oh, actually, sorry, we have one more, but we'll take breaks. So come on out. The lower the ball is on your calves, so to the top of the feet, the harder it will be. Now my ball on the calves. Here we go. Chest down and up. Same concept as a normal push-up. Spine is totally long. Ten seconds. 
or ten more. Here's six. Three. Two. One. Awesome. Walk the hands back toward the ball or however you need to. Come on off. Okay, so <laughs> not graceful. We're gonna come down onto our back. Uh, we will keep though going onto the ball, but for now we're coming to our back. So bring the ball in between the knees, raise the ankles up, bring the hands behind the head, holding the ball between the knees, 90 degree angle, crunch, squeeze the ball, release, crunch, squeeze, release. So every time we crunch up, we squeeze that ball between the knees, crunch, and crunch, toes point. The toes are in line with the knees, maybe a bit higher, but not much. 10 more. In our thighs. Elbows wide. Two. One, knees bend, arms out to the side, head down. Knees go to the left and then to the right. Palms flat on the ground. Look in opposite directions. And over, nice. One side, then the other. Shoulders wide. Fifteen seconds. We have ten. We have five. Okay. And now bend the knees. Bring the feet onto the top of the ball. Keeping, uh, you'll feel it in your knees, but my feet are just on the edge toward me. Hands by the body. Lift up and roll down. Roll ups, bridge roll ups on the ball. Amy, your feet could be on the chair for here or just on the ground. Good. Bridge up and down. Going. Almost there. 10 more. Try to retract your shoulders to protect your neck. Six. Tailbone slides towards those knees. And one, roll on down. Okay, bring the ball to the side, roll to your side to come up. Final version of our plank with our feet on the ball, it's a tuck. So Amy, you could do this one-legged or, uh, yeah, you could do it one-legged on the ground or your chair. So, the ball comes back all the way to the toes if you can manage. Here you go, knees to chest, bum stays low. Keep going. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Four. Three. Two. One. And I'm going to put one foot down. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Back to our bridges. Oh, first though, we're gonna do around the world. So roll down carefully, ball comes up above, hands reach for the ball, we switch, hand and feet go long, switch, feet and arms go long. If your neck is bothering you, bring your hands behind your head instead of overhead when they're empty.
10 more. so hard. Okay, we roll over to our side. This is a knees on the ground one. So pad those kneecaps. We'll roll the ball in and out on our elbows. I like to interlace my hands and do a full range. So I basically scoop the ball up way low close to my body and drive the palms to the forehead on the way out. Exhale forward, inhale back. Exhale, inhale, toenails down. Exhale, inhale, down, and back. Really driving that ball all the way out. Five more. Engaging the glutes at the bottom so we don't arch the back. Three. One. Great. Okay. On our elbows, plank pose. This will be those straight leg lifts I warned you about. So elbows down. I'm going to scoot that ball back. Now with our feet on the ball, no wiggle in the hips. One leg lifts, then the other. Ten. Ten. the knees bring the ball in okay so now we will sit on the ball and we can do this on the ground or on a chair full range sit-ups so it's more difficult to have the arms over the head I tend to find that tweaks out my neck so I'm going to support my head with my shoulders or bleh, my uh, fingers slowly roll back going as low as you can without any ickiness in the spine and then Come crunch about halfway up. Roll back, crunch up. We only need to go about halfway here. So we have so much ab work happening today. It's amazing. Lots some more, eh? 10 more. Try not to let the belly pooch when your body goes down. Seven. Five. Three. And one. Okay. So I think this is our last one. Yeah, I think this is our last one in plank. So uh, on the elbows again, one more time on the elbows. And then this one's a little bit funky. Don't feel like you need to go further than it feels natural. Swing the legs right and left. This is internal oblique focus. And I'm going pretty slow. It's like left, right. I'm trying to get the same distance on both sides. Elbows are definitely active here, 
but try not to let the elbows splay outside the line of the hips. Amy, if you're on the ground, one foot, then the other foot steps out to the side. Eight, seven, whoa. Four, three, that's deep, baby. And one, okay. Bend the knees, come on up. We'll do another knee one. This is a circle. Um, and you know, we can, we can do it in a full plank instead, but if it's too out of control, do the knees on the ground. But I'll do the full plank one. Elbows about on top, feet go wide here. You'll circle in one direction, then circle back the other way. Amy on the ground, you can, um, Oh, you can do circle push-ups. <laughs> and around. And around. Oh, should be feeling the lower belly there. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two, one, one, and knees come down. Yes, okay. Let's go onto our back. Again. So this time, we'll bring the ball in between the ankles, roll back, flex the feet. When you crunch, squeeze the feet together, a lot like when we do this with it between our knees. Flex the feet, crunch, squeeze, Lower, more adductors. This is such a deep core workout. 10 more. And one, bend the knees, set the feet on top of the ball, bring the hands by your sides. As you exhale, roll your hips up, double leg ball roll out, and in, out, in. Yes, glutes. 10 more. Four, whoa, whoa, three, two, and one. Pull the abs in, roll down. Okay, so before we do our final hamstring thing, this one is a bit complicated. Amy, you could do um, side crunches, knees bent with your chest to the sky like we do in yoga sculpt. Miss Melissa. Feet on a wall or the bottom of a chair or a couch. Laying on the side, hand behind the head. Other hand just as a little bit of a prop, a little push. Lift, lower, side crunch. Lift, six more. Make sure your top leg is behind your bottom leg. And one, excellent. Let's go to the other side. Almost done. Same thing on the other side, 12 total. Top leg behind the bottom leg, hand forward, up. Six more. And one. Okay, I saved the worst for last. 
You could do this with your feet on a chair, Amy, and just do a bridge instead of a roll out. Bring your foot to the top of the ball, pull the abs in, raise, or actually, let's do it this way. Both feet on the ball slash chair, raise the hips up, then your hands press down, one leg lifts, other leg pulls out and in, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, oh, two, and one, man oh man, switch legs. You might need to roll that ball in, little steppies, foot up to the sky, let's go, out, in, 10, Oh, six, five, four, three. Oh my gosh, it's rolling away. Keep going. Both feet on top of the ball, lift the hips, and roll down. Amazing. Okay, so first for our stretch, you can bring the ball however you want, roll up the legs wide uh, and then send them all out uh, and rock gently from side to side stretching on the ball is one of the best parts you could have your hands on a chair amy that'll have the same shoulder extension or shoulder flexion i'm looking for And now come all the way in, bring one hand to the side, bring the other arm up and over, stretch the body to the side, and then bring that the hand that was over your head behind your back, rest the neck, come through center, switch. So hand out to the side, arm up and over. And the hand comes behind the back, stretch the neck. And come into the center, bring the feet together, bring the ball behind your back, pull the belly in, bend the knees, plant the feet. If you can roll, you might need to scoot forward, roll back as far as you can. Hands can support the head and the neck. And then get a beautiful extension. Amy, you could do this draped over that chair. Uh, this is one of the healthiest things we can do for our body so long as it's already healthy. Uh, relax some shoulders. A few more breaths. Three. Bend the knees, the hands behind the head, tuck the chin, come all the way up, and stand up. Oh yeah, shake it out, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, woo. <laughs> and you'll raise the arms up, exhale and start and give yourself a bow. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. Tomorrow we will use the circle bands circle bands or the big long ones. Have a great rest of your day.